Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Katie and welcome to my channel. I do Harry Potter related videos and Slim World related videos. So feel free to check out my channel and if you like what you see, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as well. So you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So today is an actual uh, kind of special box. <laughs> uh, so today in the UK it's Mother's Day, so it's Sunday the 14th of March. And one of my gifts I got today was a mystery uh, diagonally themed box from James at the Leaky Broom Cupboard. So he's the guy who made my shelves. So thank you again, James. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get the box. This is the Diagonally themed uh, box and it's a mystery box. So there's lots of items in here. So if you would like to see what is in this magical box, then keep on watching. So yeah, as I said, this was a gift today for Mother's Day. Adam knew I really wanted this box, but obviously at the time we couldn't afford it. So he sneakily ordered this for me from James. And yeah, so I can't wait to get inside. Let's just talk about this artwork on this box. And they're like actual wooden boxes as well. I've got one of his other ones that Adam got me for Christmas and it's the black tapestry box. And I currently use that for like my sewing things. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this one for, but yeah, it's amazing quality. And the artwork on it looks incredible. So yeah can't wait to dive in so I'm just gonna open the box quickly it's got a little latch Ooh. so I think that on top I got Adam to look quickly this morning and that little white sheet is the spoiler card which has just fallen on the floor <laughs> so this is how it comes so it's got the leaky broom cupboard business card there so I'm just gonna pop it down so I'm just gonna open this on up, I'm not gonna do it with two hands. First of all, that is what we've got. So, a little Hessian bag, and it says on the label Diagon Alley Coaster. So let's see what coaster we've got. All my coasters I've got so far are from Geek Gear and I didn't know what to do with them but I've dotted them around on my shelves. So let's see if I can get into this. Uh, what coaster we've got. Here we go. It's in like a double knot or something but let's take it out of this lovely bag. So we have the same artwork on the box in a coaster. So there we go. That's going to look cool because uh, this shelf here, this one, I've been trying to make it into like Diagon Alley slash shops. Uh, so and he has put on this shelf different types of shops and things. So this shelf I'm trying to make like a diagonally theme. So I think I'm going to put this coaster on this shelf somewhere, but I do not know where yet. So I'm just going to pop this down. It's, nice. it's a wooden coaster as well. So it's good, great quality. So yeah, loving that as the first item. So we have a little label that says... It looks like flu powder. So it's a label and it says Ignata Wildsmith's Blue Brew. A little bit there. Flu powder. And then, is this actual like flu powder again? Oh. This is 
mad if it is. I'm keeping all these labels as well off of these Hessian bags. James, if you're watching, you like double knotted these bags or something because I'm struggling to get in it. But we shall persevere. I should always remember to bring scissors with me when I'm going to do an unboxing. Right, I'm going to go get some scissors. Right, I'm back with some scissors. Put them scissors there, might need them again. Right, so let's get into this bag. What's going on? Finally in. So it says flu powder, diagonally, speak clearly, get out at the right rate. So I don't I don't know what this is gonna be, but I'm intrigued. Oh wow. So it's actual like it actually looks like flu powder. That's incredible doesn't smell of anything or anything so I'm guessing it's literally just for display purposes only so I have a little tub of flu powder I already have two bottles of flu powder but it's nice to have it in like a little tin form because I know you'd have bottles of it in your home but in your bag I don't know you might be able to take some portable flu powder so yeah another great item for this diagonally box <laughs> So we have a cauldron and it's got something in it, Nocturne Alley Bath Bomb. So <laughs> there's your little cauldron. So we have another little Hessian bag and it's got a little bath bomb in. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can use them in the shower. I know people have said to like put them on the floor, but I've never actually used a bath bomb in the shower. So I may give it a go. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to get into this so you can have a look at this bath bomb. It's just a little mini, like grey bath bomb. I can't smell what it smells like in, from the packaging, so I have no idea what if it's got a scent. But that's a good idea to represent the Nocturne Alley because I know we get pins and stuff, but a nice dark bath bomb would be cool as well. So, yeah. So, we have what looks like a bookmark, it's like a little print, and it's of Gringotts Bank and it's laminated so yeah that's gonna look cool as well on my Diagon Alley shelf so this is gonna be perfect for this shelf yeah that's just another little great piece of art tissue paper no no it's just tissue paper something wooden has just fallen out and another little hessian bag off. And I'm going to my scissors again. And let's get into this. A little wooden diagonally sign. Oh my god, that's so cool. <coughs> so again, I, could <coughs> I don't know, I could easily put it like here. Or like over here on my shelf somewhere. That's gonna look so cool. I'll give it a like <coughs> give it another little additional touch. And it is made from wood, so it's been like it's like etched in. So yeah, that's another little magical thing from this one. Another wooden it's like another wooden item. And this is from uh, Elops Owl Emporium. So let's 
have a look at this. Make my scissors again. Oh, excuse me. So I hope everyone is having a lovely Mother's Day. Getting to chill out. Being spoiled. Let's get into this box, uh, bag, sorry. Right, so we have what looks like a pretty decoration because it's got a hole in the top, but it's like a wooden feather to represent obviously the owls. So that's so cool. I love all these little wooden things. You don't normally get things like that in boxes. So yeah really really pretty again you can just add it to like part of the shelf like on, the, on the side obviously i haven't got room at the back because i've got all the prints <coughs> um pop it there pop it there i'll find places for them so yeah another handmade item but, so this I kind of know what this is because I wanted one before I found out, obviously, before I got this box. I told James I really wanted one of these because I'd seen pictures of it and it looks incredible. So it's a green flame flu powder candle. And oh my god, if I'm going to have to try and get a picture of it like lit up because it looks incredible. Um, so yeah, once it's lit, the flame, it looks like, <clears throat> so once it's lit up, it actually reminds me of like, he did do one for the Tri Wizard tournament, but I missed out on it, but um, it looks like the flame from the Tri Wizard cup, but this one also will be, will be green, because it's flu powder, but... Honestly, I'm going to try and get a clip of it lit up because it looks incredible. Um, so yeah, I can't, I don't think I need something quite strong to open it because it's like a tin. So yeah, this is going to look amazing. So yeah, what a lovely, what a lovely box to Mother's Day and then obviously once you've unboxed your items you have a box to use for keep like for whatever you want really keepsakes or just for storage like I've used the other one as storage so I don't know what I'm going to use this one for yet but I will use it just trying to think if I can put it anywhere I need to really organize some bits but yeah so you're getting all them little handmade items in the box plus you're getting like an actual wooden box which you can use for whatever you fancy and the artwork on it looks really good so yes so so James at the Leaky Broom Cupboard this is a really really good box I'm glad I got it for Mother's Day <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to link James and the Leaky Broom Cupboard in the description below. Go and check him out, he's incredible. He does all sorts of things, like obviously these boxes. And yeah. So I'm going to try and choose a favourite. I think my personal favourite is going to be the Flea Powder Candle. Just because I know it's going to look incredible, lit up and yeah so that's my favorite um don't like choosing least favorites no i'm not going to choose the least favorite i loved it all i love handmade items and things and i love supporting small businesses and james knows that me and adam are going to be returning returning customers for him for ever so yeah really really pleased with this box uh, what did you think of this box uh, let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'm sure James would appreciate the feedbacks
so yeah I'm gonna get a clip of this candle lit up and then that's gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like it really means a lot to me and if you are new I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button so take care guys and again happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there bye